one, one of the things we're going to work out when all the work on when all the coaches get their own sticks is learn how to catch ourselves so we're the, the most effective we'll teach it. Uh, Joe, get over there. Okay. Uh, we are perpendicular to the target. We're facing our target. We have our hand up here. The stick is in the box. Uh, we're giving them a target. The reason it's in the box is when we catch the ball, we want to have it protected. Okay, we're slightly forward of a perpend uh, perpendicular to the ground. Okay, and as it comes, we want to give and we want to be in the ready position. All right, so Joe throws me the ball. Okay, I look it into the stick and I give. Now, my, my teaching point is that there's a marble in the ball, in the middle of the ball. I learned that from tennis. Well, when I was trying to perfect my backhand, it told me that there was a marble in the tennis ball. And if you, if you went right through the center of the ball, you made quite, much better contact. Okay, so, one of the, and then the last thing we do on the catch, we give, and then we turn our bodies so that the person covering us, our stick is protected. There's a lot more to the catch than just the ball coming in here. It's the target, we want to be right here. We want to give, we want to turn our bodies and be ready for the uh, throwing position. Okay, throwing the ball. Um, Kind of, I always like to teach with the uh, pitching. Okay. The, way, the way we pitch, from, and we'll pick from the stretch for throwing. Okay. We're in the stretch, we're, 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 our body is sideways to the target, we turn, we point our toes, we load, and we snap right to the target. Um, the other te the teaching point that I use for throwing and catching is with this two eyes and stick up here and have your eyes go to their eyes so follow, and follow through and I like to follow through uh, flat to the ground uh, parallel to the ground um, one of the things that happens with um, non-Canadians is that we tend to be just top hand dominant we tend you know we, we throw a ball we just do this Whereas, what you're really supposed to do is, this is your control hand, and this is your power hand. And this hand is pulling this way, and this hand is snapping that way. So, I'm much more powerful when I, uh, my fulcrum is here. The stick actually pivots along this point, and pivoting along that point. And that's just physics, because it's a much longer lever if you, from here, right? You guys learn that, right? That lever and stuff. Okay, so that's the one thing. A lot, a lot of kids, this, hit, this is the dead hand. And Canadians all play. If I'm a right-handed, if I'm a right-handed person, this is how I play lacrosse. This is how I play hockey. Like my top hand or my bottom hand on the lacrosse stick, and the stick hand, it should be the dominant hand. So that's one thing uh, as far as throwing and shooting is that we really try and emphasize at the high school to get that bottom hand. Involved. We learn that early, and that's the way, only way we do things around here. I think we got a much better chance of having faster shots and better sticks um, as we as we move along. Okay, I'm gonna show us.